For the past two days we have been celebrating our international masterclass which is for dementia care, design and ageing. This is the second time we've run this conference and we see it's a very valuable tool to be able to disseminate research, to translate research, um, to include industry, people with dementia and their carers. When we work with industry, for example, we're involved in training care workers who are absolutely crucial to supporting people living with dementia. Um, we also assist in the development of new care facilities in which we can apply our research-based design guidelines. And we try to support innovations for people to use in their own homes. My role is very much about looking at individuals and finding out how it impacts, how dementia impacts on, on their well-being and how that marries with, with the environment around about us. Today we've got a mixed group of people from the construction sector, from the care sector, from suppliers and manufacturers, as well as academics, individuals, family members and people living with dementia. The benefits of being in an uh, uh, international masterclass is, I think, uh, huge. There's a difference in the culture and the context, and finding that the difference is, is really you know, a, a huge running curve for, I think, us as well as uh, uh, colleagues uh, at the DSCC. This kind of cross-culture uh, discussion conference is, is very important, and we can figure out where is the, the common issues of dementia. It's so important that we bring people together from different parts of the world because we all have things to teach each other. We can discover, for example, how we engage with people with dementia, with communities and with businesses and policy makers to try and improve care and support of people living with dementia. We see this as a key component of creating research which is industry-led, industry-ready um, and informed both by research and practice. The value of this international masterclass is that we're exchanging the best practices in the world in how we can bring in great design, how we can improve health and care systems, but most of all, how you put the voice of the person with dementia at the centre. We're all here because we want to make a difference to the lives of, of people with, with dementia. Um, and diverse uh, types of research are happening across uh, design, technology, care, all around the world and, and they are, they are, it's, all, it's really important that they all kind of overlap with each other. And Japan is the most ageing nation in the world and what we are discussing in Japan in policy is that we can't cope with this tsunami of population only from medical uh, intervention, not from sort of a hospitalisation to community-based approach from bed to community. To achieve this sort of uh, approach, the global collaboration, particularly with uh, Stirling University and Scotland, has been a great help for us to share the best practices around this uh, policy shift. And uh, from this master class, uh, I learn a lot. Very humble and honored to be part of this uh, um, initiative. Thank you. Our te technology is focusing on providing the solution for more effective prevention, more earlier and diagnosis, and of course more earlier intervention. There's been a huge change in the policy focus around dementia, from regarding dementia as a medical condition to be managed, to one in which we look at enhancing life for people living with dementia. Well, in Japan, the person-centered care is really popular and spreading all over Japan. It is difficult for Japanese older people to express their thinking and their feeling. Whatever uh, we are from developing country or advanced country like UK, we, we are facing the same, same environment, same, same problem. And we, we can communicate to each other to find out uh, the more effective solutions. In the University of Stirling we have a very strong emphasis on research with impact and we work hard to develop partnerships with industry professionals and policy makers in order to deliver on that agenda. Partnership working enables us to exercise much greater influence and to really change things for people living with dementia.